hey, something is not right. Let's change it. Yeah, that's right. That looks good. So today I'm going to do things that ruin a first impression. Scientists have proven we form our first impression within the first seven seconds of meeting a person. And there are definitely certain factors that make or break it. Hi, my YouTube family. Welcome. I'm Nahas Khan. Are you ready to find out what you should and shouldn't do in order to leave a good first impression on other people? Then keep on watching. But before I start, don't forget to subscribe to our channel and turn on the notification so that you will be the first one to see all our new videos. So let's start. Things that ruin a first impression. Number 10 is chewing gum. You have got to admit that it's incredibly annoying when you're talking to someone, they are chopping on a piece of gum. Put this irritating behavior in a formal situation or a meeting with someone and it becomes even more inappropriate. Chewing on gum makes you look immature and self-centered. So don't even think about that on a job interview. You want to show your best qualities, not your indifference to your potential employer. On the flip side, in casual situations, a new study has found people chewing gum are perceived to be more friendly. So be careful about this one. It can help or hurt you. Point number nine that ruin a first impression is avoiding eye contact. Avoiding eye contact has a powerful influence on how we view someone. A 2007 study found out that people who maintain eye contact during a conversation are found to be more trustworthy, more confident, more intelligent. People that avoid eye contact, on the other hand, are perceived to be less sincere, more anxious and unattractive as well. It doesn't mean you have to stare down like a creep. So don't be afraid to lock eyes with someone when you meet them for the first time instead of staring here and there. Number eight point that ruin your first impression immediately is playing with your hair. Statistics have shown that women touch their hair at least 18 times a day. That's okay when you're fixing your hair in the mirror. But if you're playing with your hair while talking to someone, you could be sending out the wrong message. First of all, they might think that you're flirting with them. Person who toys with their hair during a conversation looks unconfident, anxious and uncomfortable, traits that are undesirable in an official situation. And when playing with your hair becomes excessively repetitive, it can be a sign of OCD. If you tend to do this habit when you are nervous, try to kick this out. It will do you and your hair a lot of good. Number seven that ruin your first impression is picking the wrong conversation topics to avoid the awkward silence. A lot of people are ready to talk anything with someone they have just met. But you never know what subjects can make someone uncomfortable. So it's better to play it safe and avoid the taboo topics. They include health problems, politics, religion, money problems and complaints. Try not to focus the conversation only on yourself and your issues. That's what the therapists are for. It's always good to be attentive during a conversation. A good listener is always appreciated. Number six, invading someone's personal space. Just as there are certain lines you shouldn't cross when having a conversation, same applies to personal space. Experts put it simply, the space between you and another person is determined by your relationship and the situation. There's a certain distance for close friends and family, one for informal situations and one for formal situations. When it comes to meeting a person for the first time, keep at least four feet between the two of you. If you stand too close to them, you will come off as aggressive. But if you stand too far away, you will come off as uninterested. So 
try to stick to a happy medium. Number five, that ruin your first impression immediately is making distracting noises. We have all been in a room with someone who taps their feet or fingers or drums their pen on the desk. And if you do any of these things, you are not only annoying everyone, no offense, you are also giving them the wrong impression about you. Tapping can indicate irritating behavior, nervousness or impatience. People might even think that you're purposely trying to irritate them or try to draw attention to you. And while cracking knuckles can help annoy lots of tension, but it is one of the most annoying sounds. Number four that ruin your first impression immediately is using your phone in formal situations. Not just using your phone, but using your phone to type and chat during a conversation with someone. According to a New York Times survey, it is found that it can be impossible to control nervous typing. But you have to try before your meetings and presentations to avoid constantly checking your phone. In this age of social media, we all have been addicted to phones. In fact, an Android app called the Locketay found out in their survey an average person checks their phone 110 times a day. And even if you are just checking your phone to check the time, the other person thinks that you are feeling bored and it is very extremely impolite. A study from the University of Essex found out that just a person's phone on the table can reduce the quality of the conversation with the participants. So leave it in your bag or in your pocket, period. Number three that ruin a first impression is forgetting someone's name. This has happened to me many times and that is a very bad attitude to have. One of the most embarrassing things to do is to forget someone's name. And it's extremely humiliating when the other pe person remembers your name. So a great trick to do is when they introduce them to you, immediately repeat their name saying, hi, how are you with their name? You can't justify this faux pas with excuses like saying I have a bad memory or I keep forgetting names won't ju justify it. So cut it. And when it does happen and you have forgotten the other person's name, try to avoid using sentences where you have to say their name. That will solve that issue. The number two mistake that can ruin your first impression in my list is being late. Being late with your friends is a fashion statement but it is nothing to joke in a first impression as it comes out as very cheap. Running late to a meeting with people you have a formal relationship will certainly put you in a negative light. You come off as unreliable and un unorganized that don't respect people's time. So if you don't want this way that people view you don't be late. It's that easy. Leave your house in enough time that you don't have to run to your meeting. There are tons of online resources that can help you manage your time. So make use of it. The number one mistake that people make to ruin their first impression that makes the cut here is wrong attire. Whether we like it or not, people judge a book by its cover. And that also within 7 seconds of laying their eyes on us. There's not much you can say within that 7 seconds. So pretty much most of the assumptions will be based on how, the way you look. In fact, statistics claim that 55% of your first impression is based on appearance. What's more interesting is studies have shown your height, your weight, your hair color, the makeup you wear, all impact your paycheck. So if you are meeting someone in a formal situation, try to be conservative. Try to dress as per the situation. Don't go over makeup and don't use lots of perfume. You don't have to look the perfect dressed person, but look neat and put together. So these are the 10 points that has made my list that ruin a first impression. Do comment 
if you have any other tips that can help us don't forget to share this with your friends and family who are going for an interview or going to a formal situation this can hugely affect them they need to know how to leave a good impression so hope these tips have helped you so until next time namaskar